the preparation been like and how different has this been this week? Uh, definitely it's been uh, focused, uh, having fun when it's time to have fun and cracking down and being focused when it's time for business and uh, definitely the staff has found a balance in that which is which is awesome. You know, we have fun, we're supposed to have fun. We, like, you know, you know, today when we have walkthroughs, we're all focused, we're all supposed to do what we're supposed to do. And so for the team to find that balance, you know, it's awesome. What's the biggest way it's different, maybe, from both of you that are part of both preparation? How it's different from uh, I'd say in the past, you know, we didn't have as much free time or as much, you know, I mean, we just have right situations. You know, when we're supposed to come here and be serious, we're going to do what we're supposed to do. But at the end of the day, they're going to allow us to enjoy our week, enjoy our time, and, you know, that's what it's all about for the players, for us to have a good time, but also for us to win a bowl game. That's why we're down here. What's, how big is the motivation of not playing in a bowl game last year and to be able to get one now this year? Well, it's a lot of motivation. Uh, it's what, what we thought about as soon as the season was over, man. We have to just make sure we work hard to get back to this point. And uh, right now I just feel like everything's going to keep going up and we're just getting bigger bowls. Yeah, Sometimes they're in bowl games, the difference, the winner, just a team that wants to be here and play. Do you feel like this group is one that wants to be here and wants to come out I mean, I feel like this team has something to prove. I feel like we all have that chip on our shoulder. It's like a bad taste in our mouth from last year. And you know, show everybody, you know, just like, you know, show everybody why last year's kind of like, not supposed to happen. And you know, that's what we're supposed to do that. Yeah, I'd say, especially the last game. You know, I'll probably ever play. Uh, and, you know, from the last game that we did play, it left a sour taste in my mouth. So I definitely want to go out on top. And I want to bring our guys with us and motivate us to push each other. From it, just going back to the whole, since you found out you're going to a bowl till now, what stood out to you as far as things you've done as a team, either on the field or off the field, in terms of just some things you'll remember? Yeah, just I think bonding, uh, the team bonding even more and getting closer day by day, man. Uh, all of us love each other. We, we're genuinely a team. This is probably like the most com closest we've got on as, as long as I've been here. So, uh, you know, it's just been fun. CJ, for the defense, you said it was just how important is it for you guys to bounce back from? Yeah, it, it's extremely uh, important, man. Uh, we talk about that since, you know, that, that UK game happened. But um, we're going, we plan on going out there and executing, everybody doing their job, and we're just going to have fun with it. What, yeah. that, what have you guys been working on in particular just during bowl prep? Yeah. Just kind of ready we went right back, right back to fundamentals, man. Uh, fundamentals was a big thing uh, that just, you know, caused us in the last game. But uh, we've been working on that, working really hard, and uh, Coach Brown just really been preaching uh, execution as well. CJ, how big of a difference are the quarterbacks? The, the switch that they had, is there that big of a difference? Uh, not really much of a difference. Um, they're just they're really they're good runners. Uh, you just got to make sure you slow them down in the run game and uh, allow them or oh, uh, force them to pass the ball more. You guys set a fairly good job against the backs like Cam Akers and AJ Dillon earlier in the year. How do you get back to, to that? Yeah, doing the same thing. Just uh, executing everyone, doing their job, staying in the right gaps. You can't let them, you know, just get a uh, get a crease and then break it, break for a long one. So you just got to make sure, make them earn yards. Well, Centerfield has not lost a bowl game. He's 3-0 in bowl games. What do you think the staff has found to kind of find a key to the winning in these games? They love bowl games, and, uh, and they love to the travel. They love having a good time as well. So, uh, you know, uh, I'd say a key for them is to make sure it's fun, but also to have a great game plan. You know, they get an extra extra two, three weeks to focus on that team, so they get to look into more in depth instead of every week we're planning for a new team. So uh, they get better chances to uh, – come up with schemes for us to try to make Does a little fun in Nashville? Do you guys get to have a little fun? Yeah, we definitely had a little fun. You know, uh, I personally thought the, the, the sing-off or like the rap battle we had or the songwriting contest, I thought I thought we won because I feel like we had a better song, but it was just a scream-off. And it turned into a cheerleading contest. And it's a cheerleading contest and my voice is gone, so I, I couldn't really scream that much. What about Patrick going eating all those? I didn't. I know. I, 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 that was wild. Like, I ran from upstairs to downstairs, and by the time I ran, he was already at, like, 15. And I was like, wow. That was crazy. And then I saw Pee Wee at 1, and I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and that was awesome. It was definitely something special, you know. It was, you know 
walk on that gets from Louisville gets to go out there and just kind of some uh, coach always says you got uh, what is it you're a part of the team yeah. you, everyone has a role in their team <laughs> we could say that was his role this year that get that day he was there and he devoured some wings and he killed it what is there defensively or for them offensively for you guys what do you have to do to be able to move the ball staying poised uh, continuing to this do what we were supposed to do. You know, if all 11 people on offense do their job, I feel like no one in the country can stop us. And that has to happen every play. And realistically, you know, in a football game, that doesn't happen. But as long as you strive to perfection for that, the sky's the limit for our offense. Yeah, we're, we got to stay in sync, you know. You know, can't have turnovers, can't lose the ball. We got we to gotta start with running the ball and then, you know, open up the pass game. But, uh, you know, we definitely, if we're in sync and we're playing the way we can play, there really, there's a team that, there isn't a team that can stop us. You, you talked about kind of the fun you guys have had here. Is, is there a key to it? What's it, I guess, what's it like to juggle both, obviously having fun, but also staying focused for the games? I think uh, in past times, like we've, we've had fun, obviously, but it was a little more serious. So to have a little more leash, you know what I mean, kind of, I feel like we appreciate that staff for trusting us, and you know we are gonna we're gonna come back from you know curfew check. You know as long as we continue to show that the coaches that we can trust them, I feel like they're gonna give us more leadership. I also think that they uh, they uh, that we've all grown together. Like we're all we're all closer together than we've ever been. So you know hanging out with every single one that makes it a lot more fun than just your normal five six guys in the group. Does the practice kind of schedule itself change much? I know some coaches back off on the pads. Give a line a day off here, there, or whatever. Has there been much change that you could tell in this? Program? Not really. The one thing that the staff does do a lot is stick to the same schedule, which is a good thing. Obviously, it's like our receiver coach said, you know, we still have a our receiver test for a game plan. You know, just because it's the last game doesn't mean we're doing anything different. If it's a Super Bowl, everybody still is the same exact way. So it's very professional of our staff of doing that. You know, we still had the same hard practice Tuesday, Wednesday. Walk through and we have a run through tomorrow and then game time, so we're still in the same schedule. All right, we got it.